Hey guys, it's Charles Short Reaser, and today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Studio Series 86 Voyager Class Wreckar. So, here he is in his motorcycle mode, and yeah, so it's about time I'm reviewing Wreckar, and about time I actually have Wreckar, and about time we got a actually very good G1 accurate Wreckar figure. So, yeah, before this figure, the most recent mainline Rekkar figure was in 2018 with the Walgreens exclusive deluxe class Rekkar in that figure. From what I saw, it was eh, eh, especially with the combining gimmick as well, it's like, eh. But this figure makes up for it. It was, it was worth the wait, alright, worth the wait for, for getting a better Rekkar. So, yeah, won't get too much into that, you know, because, hey, this is a review, I gotta... Look at it and share my thoughts. So, yeah, but anyways, let's take a look at his motorcycle mode here. And yeah, this is pretty much a uh, not Cybertron him because, well, he, first of all, he's not from Cybertron, he's from Junkion. But, um, yeah, but anyways, yes, yeah, this is a Junkion, -ian, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what, I'm not sure what the plural, plural, the plural is for uh, Junkion. Junkionians, I don't know. Anyways, uh, so yes, here's the motorcycle mode, and yeah, as you can see, yeah, very accurate to the cartoon, the G1 cartoon, and you have visible head syndrome, I know, but it's supposed to make up, you know, the little controls there and all that. So hey, that's pretty nice, and of course, you know, doesn't look like a robot, other than you know the head there. And the arms and the legs, but no, nah, it's not really. It doesn't really look anything like, you know, typical robot. Uh, so, yeah, but, uh, yeah, so this is the, although they had not really much else to say. Uh, yeah, wheels, pretty fun, you know, hey, this is that. And of course, it can't stand up like this, as he said at the beginning of the review. It has to either go like this or this, because, you know, the kickstand and all that. Because, uh, I mean, how's that even possible for this to stay up when, when it's, like, you know, not moving? So, yeah, it just has to go at the angle there. But, hey, not bad. Uh, so, yeah, but anyways, uh, before we get further into this, let's take a look at the packaging. Because, yeah, and then, again, pretty rare thing I do. But, yeah, let's take a look at the packaging. So, this is the uh, packaging this guy comes with here. Yeah, as you can see, he is Studio Series A609. And you got Rekkar here. Transformers is a movie, Rekkar. And then a uh, close shot of him there. Of that same artwork. And the same artwork, but you know, further away. And at the top, not really anything except for Transformers is a movie. And on the back, you know, you got big screen Spire and all that there. The junkie on dance party and all that. And uh, for the little, little biography here, we have, it says, Rekkar and the Junkians joined the Autobots after exchanging the universal greeting, Ba, Weep, Krana, Weep, Nini, Bong. So, for those uh, that were spelling it wrong previously, here's how it's actually officially pronounced. This is how it has for, because I know some people just have Ba, Weep, ba weep without the H, and then uh, Nini as one word, and then Krana is much shorter. So, this is... Officially, how it's how Hasbro has it there, and Bobby Grana, like they have like little hyphens in there, so yeah, that's how it's officially you know, how Hasbro officially spells it on there. But yeah, and he's 22 steps, so that's it for the packaging. But now let's take a look at the backdrop. So, once you get the backdrop out, here it is, and uh. Yeah, pretty much, you know, how you'd expect from a Studio Series backdrop, you know, E609, uh, E6, and of course, uh, Transformers the Movie, and you got Junkie on the background, so, yeah, the good old plant of junk. <laughs> and of course, you could put a good old wreck on there, just chilling out. It says it's a Junkie on Dance Party, but there's no dancing going on as Plain, plain old background. But oh well. So very cool. 
So, yeah, so there's the backdrop for this figure. But we'll show it again in robot mode to see how he looks when he's staying with it. So getting more in depth with this figure, so the Elton on here, uh, again, not much else here, you know. It's what you expect from a G1. Right guard, of course, here in the front you got a little nipple cannon, so we'll get it on the robot mode. It doesn't really look like nipple cannons, because again, it's a motorcycle, but we'll get that in the robot mode. But yeah, these do move around since they're on ball joints. And the wheels, they, he actually does parts for them. One, he parts for them. So yeah. <laughs> I, I don't care. It's, it's, it's just putting in wheels. I said, I mean, how, how are you going to make it good? You know, you have to take it off and then put it back on for both modes. I don't mind it. It's, 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 it's not the end of the world, all right? Can, can, can see people stop complaining about parts for me, but, uh, yeah. And I do like the, Clear plastic they have for this window paper. Like, oh no, clear plastic. Well, I mean, this how are you how are you gonna break this? You're not gonna bend, fold, do whatever uh, on other figures like the uh, Studio Series Cliff Jumper and the SSA6 Jazz. But like those, I can understand. But then people are like, oh no, clear, clear plastic. I don't care. I mean, yeah, you can see the head in there, but it's not that bad. Um, so yeah, I do like the silver they also play here for like all the. Engines and all that, so I do like that. And, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the alt mode. You know, there's not uh, much else to say. Oh, yeah, accessories. Uh, one more thing, accessories. So again, there's the wheels, but the real only accessory with this figure is this here. I, I, I don't know what this is, to be honest. It's like some, some, some what are these called, pinwheels? Kind of looks like one of those. Uh, so yeah, I don't really know what else to say, but hey, I really like it and it looks real cool on camera. Um, but this is this is super fun. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, for storage, uh, there's not really a lot of places to store it. Uh, on the back here, there's like this little hole right here, the smaller one at the bottom. You just put that one in there and. This is probably the best place to store it now. Hey, not bad. Doesn't look bad. So you can propel them and go, woo. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for accessories and all that goodness. So let's get down to size of comparisons. And I'm not going to transform the whole SSA6 characters and all that. I'm just only going to use a few. So to start off, we got Jazz here for comparison. And the reason I decided to bring him in is because he turns into a Porsche, and this guy becomes a motorcycle. And look, look how much bigger he is. Look, look, look how much bigger. Like, this, this guy's like tiny compared, and this is a motorcycle. Motorcycle is like this big, but hey, it is what it is. I, I don't mind it really, but still, this looks pretty ridiculous. So, yeah. And finally. For comparison, just because I have him in his dino mode. Here he is with Grimlock. So, yeah, there you have the comparisons. And by the way, I've still not found Gnaw or Slug yet at any of my stores. Um, I'll definitely get them when I can get them. Yeah. So, there you have the size comparison. So, Anyways, let's get down to transformation for Rekar now. Starting off, uh, yeah, parts forming, boo hoo hoo hoo. I, I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, you just want to tab the uh, arm sections from the wheel. Yeah, these these uh, peg in these holes on these sides. So you got that wheel, and let's get the other one. You just want to. Oh, uh, and also, in order to get it out, you have to simply untab these uh, tabs from those slots in there, you can see. And you want to do a similar thing here, but with the toes here, so you got to untab that from there. And you want to untab this from there, so you get that all done. And then next, spread the legs apart. And there you go, you got the other wheel on. So now we got just the 
the, the, the whatever the, what is this? This looks so weird. Uh, is, is this like some puppy that's showing its rear end? But okay. Uh, anyways, back to the review. So, uh, so next one you want to do is you want to straighten out the legs here and flip out the feet and straighten this all up. And then what you want to do here, that, that's pretty much it for the legs. Uh, so the next one you want to do is rotate out the arm sections and just uh, roll them down, swap around the bicep like so. And you want to flip out the fists. It's pretty hard to get in there, so I'm just going to use this right here. There you go, pry it out. And the same for here. Okay, so now, so let me just lower that down. And next for the transformation, just uh, swap that around. And next. Lower the section down. <laughs> yeah, you can already see the heads there. And after that, you just want to kind of close this all in like this. I think. Yeah, there, there we go. I just want to have it like that right there. And then you just want to simply, uh, there's those tabs. Tabs on either side here, and there's slots, and there's tab right under there. Like so. Oh, wait, wait, I forgot one step. You just want to flip in this right here, and lower down the window. Then you can do what I just showed. And there you have the upper chest section. So finally, what you want to do is you want to and just uh, collapse this all in. And there you have that portion of Rekard done. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so, that is one of the string things. Oh, yeah. So, you want to flip these back here. A little, uh, Marcel got. Oh, I forgot something. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not that important. Uh, but in the alt mode, um, you can actually use. The robot, like the uh, different transformers, and you can actually uh, make them ride the figure. So that's really cool. And you can also, uh, if you get like another record, you can also put him in there. They showed uh, back was in May, late May. So that's very very cool. Um, so yeah, <laughs> apologize for not showing it, but there's probably billions of other reviewers that have. So hey. Is what it is so and just need to raise my camera up. Okay, so there you guys have the main transformation for this guy. And uh Yeah, yeah, but anyways, uh I'm not sure if I should end here, so uh but I think I do have to add this these pieces in. I've had here like what I meant by end was and the transformation segment, but I guess we gotta continue. But I uh, anyways then we finally, I guess, want to do is put these tire sections on his left side, left hand side, and yeah, then then there you have Rekar in his robot mode. I guess this is how he's supposed to be with the uh, yeah on the sides. It looks kind of odd, but it's still very cool. But anyways, yeah, there you have you guys have Rekar in his robot mode and. Yeah, I really, really like this guy. Uh, the, you know, the look of it. And, and it is, <laughs> almost not over. It is very, it is a very fun figure as well. Like, you know, we'll get a lot into that. Let's wait take a look at this guy, so. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, let's take a look at the head sculpt. And yeah, it was a very, very nice regular head sculpt. The paint on it. It looks very spot on, and yeah, I do like how they include as well as mustache and goatee, so that's pretty nice. And then we got his little nipple cannons or nipple guns, and yes, they can rotate around like usual. So we, <laughs> anyways, so yeah, there we have those, and then you got nice little paint going on around here, and yeah. Uh, you know, pretty cool. And then yeah, you got this on the sides. 
If you want to, you can remove it, but again, then it won't show where his tires go. But he transforms in the back. Not really much of a backpack, you know. Either way, I think he should have this, so. Yeah. Not really anything else to say, man. Yeah, people are like, oh, no, hollow arms. Well, there's a reason why. There, there's a reason. <laughs> but yeah. Pretty good. On uh, the details. But, anyways, articulation. Head is on ball joints. They can look very high up. That's very, very good. Unfortunately, because of his goatee, it won't allow him to look down. But, eh, it is what it is. And his arms can spread very high, so that's pretty nice. And he, his arms do rotate a whole 180 degrees. He does have bicep rotation. His elbows do bend about 90 degrees. And he does have wrist rotation on both arms, and they can kind of go in and out, up and down, because, you know, transformation. And he does uh, have an ab crunch, although that's because of transformation. It gets undone, so I guess he could get an ab crunch. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but, anyways, uh, he does have waist rotation. His legs do kick up this far, and they do kick back that far, and does have thigh rotation and oh and his legs do kick out this far and he's got to make sure the these little uh, pieces on the sides square pieces you know are out and they are on ratchets so, yeah. his knees do bend this way and the other way yeah that's pretty weird because you know transformation he needs it so he can fold and uh yeah, tab and uh Fortunately, uh, actually, no, he does have an ankle pivot. Huh? Well, you know, it's kind of an odd one, but yeah, he does have that. It's more kind of toe pivot, kind of looks like. Oh, well, I'll take it. And then, uh, can rock his feet back and forth. So, I really do like that. So, yeah, this guy's got really, really great articulation. Uh, but that's to be expected. This is a mainline Hasbro Transformers figure. So, yeah. But anyways, yeah, almost knocked over, but yeah, very, very cool. So, yeah, but anyways, now for his accessories, they go like, you know, again, there's this pinwheel thing, whatever it is, and it can attach into his hand. So yeah, now he looks like a real warrior, and I really, really dig that. So, yeah, very, very cool. Again, there's a lot of fun things with this guy. You got the nipple guns, you got the, the pinwheel thing, and then you got his regular tires. That's, how, how, how fun is this guy? This, this guy's accessories are, like, super fun. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, yep, it's about to go out. Yeah, there you have the accessories for this guy. And, yeah. But, anyways... Now for comparison, here he is with the Studio Series A6 Chaz. It's pretty much will all be the Studio Series A6 figures. I have pretty much all of Wave 1, because I do not have Wave 2, besides, you know, Rygar. Uh, here he is with Cup. Here he is with Buller. Here he is with Hot Rod. You can see he's much bigger than him. Yeah, there. With those two. Here he is with an enemy. What's this? An enemy? Yep, an enemy. Here is with Scorch, and I did see at the store as well they had the Sweep repack, Studio Series 10, so the number after this guy, but I won't be getting Sweep because he's just Scorch, but just a lighter blue, and that's not, I'm not going to get that, it's just no. <laughs> it's good for people, I didn't get Scorch. And anyways, and finally, here he is with, nope, this guy's so massive here, I'm talking about Grimlock. He's so massive, I'm 
not cover Rhaegar, but yeah, here he is. Okay, now now we go on. Yeah, come on, wait, wait, okay. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, here here is with Studio Series Grimlock. Of course, he's gonna be massive. Oh yeah, and here he is with stupid a stupid Willy here. Did I just call him Willy? <laughs> Sound like you call him Willy? But uh, yeah, there he is with Grimlock, Willy, and the gang. So yeah. Oh, and finally, because why not? There he is with Earthrise Optimus Prime. And actually, this is about the same height. Wow, I didn't know that Rekar was that big. But, yeah, there you have the robot mode comparisons for this figure. So there you guys have my review for the Transformers Studio Series 86 Rekar. And yeah, I really like this figure. It is definitely G1 cartoon accurate. Like, I mean, if you look at it, it's like... Like, come on, how, how, how can you say no? This, this figure is literally the definition, yet again, of cartoon accuracy. Like, especially we see a lot in Studio Series 86, because they're really going for the G1 designs that we all knew and loved. So, yeah. Not much else to say to this figure, because he's pretty much the same answer I give to a lot of these figures that are trying to be G1 accurate, especially from Studio Series 86, but... Yeah, so, anyways guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more, and comment down below what you guys think of this figure, do you guys like him better, or the uh, past rec hours that we got, yeah, in your opinion, so, and do you prefer the G1 version, I don't know, but, yeah, I don't even have the G1 version, <laughs> anyways guys, till all are one.